After a much welcomed day off, Ryder Hedgedahl was back on the bike today for stage 16 of the Giro d'Italia, a 174 kilometer grind, mostly uphill. Ryder didn't gain any ground on the overall leader, but he didn't lose any either. And here you'll see Ryder in blue, the third man back in the general classification, right on Ryder's wheel, the man in pink, Spain's Joaquin Rodriguez. Now Ryder is just 30 seconds back of Rodriguez in the overall standing, so neither cyclist was willing to let the other make a break for it. There were riders that launched an attack in the final climb of today's stage, including the stage winner Juan Izaguirre. Now the other GC riders hung back, finishing almost nine minutes back of Izaguirre. Tomorrow, stage 17, 186 clicks through the mountains with four tough climbs before the final descent into Cortina de Empezo. Well, when it comes to high school soccer in our capital, the Colonist Cup soccer game describes uh, city soccer supremacy. On the girls' side, they play for the Ryan Cup and this afternoon Oak Bay looked to hoist that hallowed piece of hardware for the second straight season. Which is an honor worth sacrificing oh. your face for? Check out Elise Butler getting in the way of that Lambrick Park laser beam. She's tough though and she's gonna be okay. Thumbs up. Even more okay after is Stephanie Badilla Gutierrez takes the corner slot at home with precision by Sonia Dodos makes a 2-0 Oak Bay. The Bays put this one out of reach late in the second half. Watch the patience from Megan Keevil. The slick move around the defender, the hesitation, then the clinic finish. As Oak Bay wins the city championships by a 3-0 final over Lambrick Park. Oak Bay's birth at the BCs is far from a sure thing, but the Ryan Cup is theirs for a second straight year. It was a really good year. I mean, we started off pretty shaken up, but I mean, we pulled through and yeah, top in the cities. So, oh, it's great winning a second year in a row. Um, it's even though we didn't make it to Islands, this is a really good feeling to be top team on the island. It's really good. Now the Victoria Highlanders dropped a tough one last night in Redmond, Washington. A goal from the home side's Nick James in the 28th minute was the only scoring. Elliot Matru stopped six of seven shots as the Highlanders remain winless on the season. They have two draws to show over four games. Next action is at Royal Athletic Park this Sunday. Well, these seats are going to be full for the Shamrocks home opener on Friday against Maple Ridge. In fact, this year's rocks are so exciting that people one person is already doing the wave at practice. Jeff Shatler made a triumphant return to the lineup last Friday in a victory over Burnaby and can't wait to perform in front of the Bear Mountain faithful. Start whistle to the end whistle. We're just going to be run, run, run. So I wouldn't expect, uh, you know, anybody to take a shift off. That's not our game this year. You know, it's tough because guys are coming off seasons where we're so used to playing with players and then they come here and, you know, it's all new faces. So um, I think we're just going to work real hard in practice and see where it takes us. Be ready to shake your pom-poms on Friday night because uh, the boys are going to put on a show. <laughs> Only green pom-pom shaking at Bear Mountain Arena. Matt Lyons has a nice sense of humor, but not when it comes to his role on the floor or in the Rocks dressing room. Coach Bob Hayes has slapped the C on Matt's jersey. It's an honor the new captain is not about to take lightly. You know, I'm, I'm more of a team morale guy, you know, make sure never, all the guys have a smile on their face, but also, uh, you know, let them know that, uh, you know, when we get to the rink on game days and practice, it's time to punch the clock and uh, get ready to go here. I think he's he's hardworking, and, and when you get a captain, you can really lead by example to the type of, you know, team that we want to have. He uh, he does uh, he does everything that's asked for. You know, he'll he'll play power play. He'll. Uh, He'll, he'll do whatever, he'll rag the ball, he'll do uh, everything that's asked. And that's, uh, that's the versatility and the uh, commitment that we're looking for. Finally tonight, Power to Be Adventure Therapy and the TD Bank present the most anticipated charitable adventure challenge of the year. Power to Play Corporate Challenge takes place this Sunday, May 27th at the Vancouver Island Tech Park. So head on out and support your favorite corporate teams as they run, crawl, slide, jump, and push their way through a four-hour obstacle course, all in support of Power to Be Adventure Therapy. CGV's team will be there, the Bell Ringers, and they're ready for the challenge to raise funds for youth and families in need of support in our community. Now visit powertoplay.ca to donate to your favorite corporate team and learn more about the cause. And it is a great cause. Mm -hmm. Who do you think is going to win the hockey game tonight? I kind of hope LA does. I think they're yeah. going to do it. But $44 tickets to game five uh, and the Stanley Cup uh, semifinals. And I found flights, return flights for 400 bucks from YVR. So, wow. How about our buddy, the Kings fan? Is he there? Is he already... He's going for the next series. He's already pre-booked uh, pre for uh, hotels in New York. Yeah. So. 
Well, that tells you why uh, hockey in the desert struggles, huh? Exactly. It's still not a big seller there, so. All right, my thank you. You're welcome.